All right, this is a quick and easy recipe for gluten-free bread. I wanna show you this. I made it on TV a couple days ago, and it's amazing, and it takes under five minutes to make gluten-free bread. What you're gonna do is get some Chex Mix, rice mix, and you're gonna add in three cups or two cups into a bowl. Next thing you're gonna do is smash it up with your hands. A good thing for kids to do. So make sure there's no big pieces left. Then we're gonna add a sprinkle of salt, half a spoonful of sugar. Stir that together. Then we're gonna add one egg white for every cup of rice checks that we added. So if you added two cups, do two egg whites. If uh, we did three cups, we're doing three egg whites. Just crack your egg and toss the yolk back and forth. Whoa, that was close. All you're gonna do is stir this up until everything is combined. Like that. All right, I'm using coconut oil, but you can use canola or whatever, but we want a really thin layer of whatever oil you use. Let that melt and then use a paper towel to wipe it up. The oil is melted, we're just gonna spread that around a super thin layer. The rest gets picked up by the paper towels. All right, now we're just gonna make a patty out of our batter, or whatever you want to call it. We can patty. We're going to put that in the pan. Just make patties. Make them as thin as you can. About the size of the sandwich or bread that you want. Put them in the pan. The other thing you could do is actually roll all this out and make a pizza dough out of it that would be really good. All right, flip them over, press them down. These get really crispy on the outside and get chewy on the inside. Much like what polar bears think of the igloos. See, crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Old joke. Okay, I'll flip them over again. We're gonna flip them back and forth about two times, two or three times, because we want to make sure it gets cooked all the way through, obviously. Flip them over one more time. You don't want them to burn. About two minutes total. All right, we're about three minutes in between mixing and cooking, and they are all done. I'm just gonna pour them out here on a plate. So these are great for like last minute gluten-free bread if you're gonna go to a hamburger shop and you wanna not eat the hamburger with a fork and knife. Just make some of these up real quick. You can make them for toast. You can keep them in the fridge for a while, they're good. Or you can just make a little ham sandwich like I'm gonna do. So that's how you make super fast gluten-free bread in under five minutes. I'm Rob Barrett, cook well, it's worth it. Mmm. Mmm. That is good stuff. Mm.